welcome back to my channel we're gonna be doing another look and it's a glitter cut crease what do you guys think lots of blending involved so be ready um, it is fun I definitely do recommend to have glitter glue for your eyes when you do this look for the glitter just because I think it's a lot easier so uh, I definitely think you should get that um, but other than that, um, feel free to experiment with any colors you like. Um, there's something that um, I wouldn't really wear out, but I think it's really fun to do on a night out. Not like daily, but it's really fun. So, um, if you guys want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. I have primed my face already with moisturizer, so it's all set. There's already moisture in my face, it's not going to be dry and it will help keep the foundation and all of the makeup intact longer. So what we're going to start off with first is going to be the Fenty Foundation um, Primer. We're just going to put it all over our face. Okay, now that we've primed our face. We're actually going to be doing the eyes first. And the reason why we're going to be doing the eyes first is because we're going to be using glitter today. First, we're going to need to use the Tarte Shape and Tape. So we're going to put that on our eyelids for our base. Okay, now that that's on our lids, we're just going to go ahead and blend it out with our ring finger. Next, we're just going to get some setting powder and put it on our eyelids so the, um, the concealer doesn't crease and ruins our look. And I'm just using a damp beauty blender to do that. So don't forget to wet your beauty blender because when I first started doing makeup, I didn't know nothing about it and I was watching tutorials and stuff like that. And I didn't know you had to wet it. I was just putting foundation on and I was wondering, I was like, why do people like using beauty blender so much it sucks and then i realized that you have to wet it beforehand and it's the best thing in the world so i felt pretty stupid but now my makeup is 10 times better so next for this look we're gonna be using the my little pony palette from colourpop cosmetics here is the palette and we're just gonna be using that today and I'm just getting a B Bella NG323 um, blending brush. I'm going to be using the color Flutterby, and it's the color right here. Okay, so we're just going to apply that all over the top of the lid. Now that we have the color on, I'm going to be using the NYX Professional Makeup Ultimate Shadow Palette and here's how it looks. So we're going to be using the hottest pink that there is and we're just going to use the, like a little flat brush, get the pigment, tap with the extra pigment. And put it in our crease line. We don't want to put a lot in a fluffy brush because that's not the look we want. We want it to be like dimensional. I'm going to use another blending brush that I have. So now we're just going to blend it. It's going to be with a clean blending brush. Blend it up in there to create some dimension. Because if you have just one color, it's going to look really flat. And you want it to just be dimensional and give you some depth. Okay guys, now we're going to go back to our ColourPop palette. And we're going to be using the deeper pink. Kind of like a purplish pink. That is called Sky Dancer. So it's this color right here. And we're just going to do it again, but this time just on the ends. Remember to shake the excess because you don't want all that all over you. So now just blend. 
So next, we're going to need some Tarte Concealer again. And we're actually going to just conceal the outer edges to clean it up. So what I'd like to do is just put some right here on the back of my hand and use a flat brush to put it in the eye. So just going to use a rounded concealer brush that um, from a brush set that I actually got at TJ Maxx. You guys should get some because they're only $10 and they're really good. So if you're on a budget, I suggest you go there and get your brushes because they're bomb. Okay, so I'm just going to get some. And don't get a lot because then it's kind of hard to blend it out because it's on the eye. Just form the shape. of your eye because we're going to be using a cut crease method okay and we're just cleaning it up and right here where we're cleaning it up it's going to be where the glitter is so just go ahead and take your time so just follow the line now we're just going to use again the same My Little Pony Colourpop uh, palette and we're going to be using the color Minty and this is the purple shimmery color and we're just going to apply it with the same with, um, with a flat brush again where the concealer is and tap the excess away. Don't worry guys, this part doesn't have to be perfect just because we are going to be putting a finishing touch on it. So next, we're going to be using our NYX Glitter Primer. And it's so good with glitter. And we're also going to be using Beauty Creations. Um, glitter. We're going to be using the light purple glitter creations glitter and this is how it looks So now we're going to use the glitter we got before and we're going to put it where we put the glitter glue And take your time with this guys. No rush Now we're just going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow definer and we're going to be putting it in our brows use the end to clean it up and the other end to fill it in and sorry guys but my brows are not done so if they look a little bit weird it's because they're not defined and done i need to go do them okay now we're just gonna use the a flat concealer brush and use the same conceal the tart concealer to clean up the brows Eyes somewhat done. Now we're just gonna use our foundation. So I'm gonna be using the Estee Lauder uh, Double Wear Foundation in the color Cashew 3W2. So this is how it looks. And just shake it up. I do love this foundation because it dries matte. So now using that damn beauty blender. Sorry, not beauty blender. Um, Real Techniques beauty sponge not to be confused with the beauty blender I haven't tried the beauty blender because it's expensive it's $20 so I used to real techniques beauty sponge and it works really well like really well it's only like I think $3 $4 for two of them so if you haven't bought one of them I suggest you do because it's so good Again, I have um, really dark eyes. This is the City Color Photo Chic Dark Circle Corrector. I'm going to put it... Okay, now that that's taken care of, we can go now with our Shape Tape Tart Concealer. Put it under our eyes. This is to highlight, but also correct our under eyes. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to clean up right there where our 
eyeshadow is. Clean it up. Make it nice and crispy. Okay. So again, we're highlighting. So I'm just gonna put some right here. Bridge of my nose, chin, upper lip, and just blend it up. Okay guys, now that that's under our eyes, we're going to be using the Air Spun setting powder and with our beauty blender, just putting it under our eyes to set. And I love how and the sudden powder smells. Now that the face and some of the eyes are done, we're gonna be um, bronzing and contouring our face. Okay, so first we're gonna be using the Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills Contouring Kit from Light to Medium, and we're using the this color right here on the end and putting it on. So now we're gonna use the MAC, um, what's it called? Medium dark, all the right angles palette. It comes with like um, corrector and contour. So we're just gonna use the contour, putting it in our cheekbones to give us that chiseled look. Because look at this round face. I do not have a chiseled face. Okay, so now we're going to go back with the ColourPop My Little Pony palette and we're going to be using it for under the eye. So we're going to use the Color Again Sky Dancer, putting it underneath the eye. Okay, so for blush, we're going to be using the Manicadar blush in the Color Paradise blush. This is how it looks. And we're just going to be putting that on the apples of our cheeks. So just put it in the blush, tap, tap, tap. We're going to use the same Nicole Guerrero palette and use Kitty Cat to highlight. Kitty Cat and Daydream. So mix those two, tap it, put it right here. Almost, I'm going to highlight, um, not highlight, sorry. Contour our nose with the same Anastasia kit. Contour it. Make it look slimmer. I think it's time for lashes. So for lashes, we're going to be using the Kiss Strip Hash Adhesive, Adhesive and the Pearl Lashes Beauty. This is how they look like. And this is in the style breakup. So if you're on a breakup and you're looking for a new man, these are the lashes, girl. Okay, and then we're gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette and use the color. Um, I think we're gonna use the color number one. Number one with a mix of number twelve. 1 and 12. Okay guys, now that we put our lipstick on, we are done with this look. Thank you so much for tuning in and uh, watching this tutorial. I hope you guys learned some, some stuff and I hope you guys had a little bit of fun watching me. And um, just let me know in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys like the video, definitely like it and subscribe to my channel for future videos. That way uh, you can be notified when I upload another one. And um, I hope you guys again had fun. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.